family welcome back to my channel once again i am k jilda i am back with another video a very simple video on how you can make or create your own janky curls i'm going to be showing you how the janky curls look like yeah i'm going to be showing you how they look like instead of buying those very tiny bundles you buy those bundles if you're in uganda you buy them at around uh, twenty-five thousand, yeah and then you need about two bundles or three bundles depending on how packed you want your hair to be so that is about seventy-five thousand or fifty thousand ugandan shillings but today i'm going to be showing you how you can create your own janky curls using afro kinky the normal kinky braids okay i hope you guys enjoy this video if you are new here uh, do not forget to subscribe. Don't leave this place without subscribing. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining us. Those of you who have been here before, Jesus loves you and thank you for supporting K Organics always. Let's get straight to the video. So, guys, we are going to be making these from the Afro Kinky. You can see I had combed mine already out. The normal Afro Kinky braids from Darling. Yeah, that is what I used to create the junky curls. I'm going to be showing you process by process. Eh? <laughs> so you start by combing out your Afro kinky braids. Open it and comb it out. And then you tie a thread. I used my chair to tie that to support my twists. Yeah, you can find any place that is comfortable for you. That you can tie your thread on, support your twist. I'm going to show you what that is used for. I'm going to be twisting on that thread since I don't have like a dummy or someone's head that I'm going to be twisting on. Yeah, and I need the twist out like single, in singles. So, if you do not know how to twist, there is a video in, there is a video among the, uh, my uploads that has the tutorial for twisting. So this you twist where the thread passed is going to help you to to pass your hook like where your hook is going to pass maybe where you're going to use your hook to pull through I hope you understand what I'm trying to mean here like when you remove that thread on the braid on the twist there is a hole that is there that is going to help you to crochet yes that is the point so you're going to twist as many as possible as you want see i'm still going twist as much as you want yeah instead of buying already made you can just buy two packs of of the of the darling afro kinky this is not an advertising video but i'm trying to tell you what i am using here yeah just two packs and then cut maybe into two or leave it long depending on how you want it to be make your twists it doesn't matter here either you make it loose or you make it tight it's up to you to choose what you want if you want it fluffy then don't tighten if you want them not so fluffy then tighten I hope you guys are enjoying the video if you like the video please share do not be selfish yeah i keep saying don't sell fish do not be selfish share the video leave us a comment give us a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and let's keep engaging let's 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 interact leave your comments in the comment section tell me what you think after the twisting, I'm going to be using my palm rod set to make curls. Like, I need curls at the tips. That is where the junky curl name, I think, comes from. Yeah. I'll wrap that around my palm rod, the, the roller. I don't know what it's called exactly, but you can see what it is. I know this is a palm rod set. So, I will be doing that. I'll be doing that. You roll it there not the full braid like the tip of the braid up to where you feel you're comfortable with 
there and then close it up these things we see them already made and we wonder how they are made or we wonder how did this person really come to do this may how was this made very simple very simple if you don't have the palm rod sets you can use a stick maybe the chopsticks the sausage sticks yeah and then use a rubber band to tie if you don't have the palm rod sets or get straws use a straw and then get rubber bands to secure yeah so that it doesn't fall open and fall off so guys i'm do, i'll be doing this for the rest of the for the rest of the braids you know you can make as many of these braids as possible i was just showing you how it is made because really i wasn't going to use it on anything so i didn't have to make so many of them but this is like one of my favorites when i when it comes to plating hair yeah because they are very good they are very good you only crochet and then may make sure the corners are not too tight when you when you plate these it's time to hot water them yeah Hmm. it's time to pour water on them like the hot water this is this is the game changer now it's the hot water that does the work for you this part you don't do much you just put in there and pour hot very hot water on it yeah make sure the water is really really hot enough that is what i'm going to be doing The hot water you can see the vapor from the water it's really hot like very very hot you can see the vapor coming from the jug mm. i'm using my towel to dry it because i needed it to dry out real quick and i show you guys other than put waiting for hours or for some minutes but you can wait put it under the sun or use your dryer to dry them out i didn't have to use the dryer i have the dryer but felt lazy using the dryer and i didn't want to go put them in the sun i needed the video real quick so i don't take a lot of time recording it so i'm using my towel cotton towel to to get some water out of it like the excess water out of it time for opening guys look at that you see the curls coming out of the ends that your junky curl your braid is already done yeah it's already done guys this year i said we are saving some money 2021 is for saving money and using the money to get developmental things so if you want to do some business this is a business tip for you package them well make your product look unique if you're making this for your own consumption it's also well and good yeah this year we must save money yeah rather than spending about fifty thousand seventy five thousand or a hundred thousand for those very small bundles you're going to have to spend only twenty thousand because I, the packs of the kinky braids is 10,000 Ugandan shillings. Sorry for those who are not in Uganda. I'm, I'm, I'm using the Ugandan currency. Don't be scared. Our money is big for nothing. <laughs> yeah, so don't be scared. I'm using the Ugandan currency. So guys, we are really done. Your junky curls are ready. Ready to crochet yeah if you do not know how to make cornrows go to a nearby saloon ask them to do for you cornrows i'm removing the thread from that ask someone to make for you very man doesn't have to really be neat simple cornrows and then you come back and crochet this yourself i don't know when i'm going to do a tutorial on crocheting your hair by yourself but i'm going to try and do it for you real soon guys and i show you how to do these things you see where the hook will pass that is what i was trying to explain let me get another one and show you 
the hole that I, there this one uh, yeah that is where the hook passes when you're crocheting your junkie curls are ready your junkie curls are ready to add some extra shine some some shine to the braid you're going to get your leave-in conditioner and maybe your oil or your butter whatever you choose I'll, i'm only using my leave-in conditioner yeah the spray i'm using that to give it that extra shine as you can see yeah you who want something to earn from you you want some uh somewhere to get money from this is a business tip this is our janky curls this is how it looks like thank you for watching thank you for being part of this family thank you for joining this tribe and i hope to see you again very soon very soon and may God bless you. Do not leave this place without subscribing. I love you so much. For those in business, yeah, make sure you package them well. Make some package that is really unique and beautiful. Yeah, so that you're unique in your business.